Alright, the baked goods are ready for later, and the decorations are <laughs> practically all over the place. Uh uh uh, no, no, sugar. That ain't for you. <laughs> Silly kitty. <laughs> At least we are ready for our, our New Year's date night. So much easier than hosting a full party this year. Don't you agree? <laughs> now, I should go to the store and buy a few more things and drinks. You be a good kitty, won't you, sugar? Good girl. Sugar! Here, kitty, I'm home. I'm back from the store. I should put these away and start cooking dinner before love comes home. I bet they got that good news they were hoping for. Maybe I should text them and ask them when they're coming home. You know, to check up on them. Hmm. That should it. <sighs> they usually get home within an hour. Mm. That'd be enough time to tidy up and make dinner. Welcome home, love. I just finished up dinner, and I'm gonna set the table, then we can eat. How was your day? That's wonderful news. I'm so proud of you. Congrats on the promotion. Well, with all the hard work you've been putting in, you deserve it. Oop. <laughs> hey, love. Why don't you get changed and relax for a little bit while I set the table? Oh, let me spoil you a little bit. It's a special day. Hmm? How was my day? <laughs> it was pretty good. I made some of the baked goods, decorated the apartment, and went to the store. Even got a little bit of work done. <laughs> I wouldn't say I had a busy day. More productive. Oh, love. You're not going to believe what happened at the store. Well, besides it being crazy crowded there. The <laughs> this old woman was walking to her car, and some guy tried came up behind her and grabbed her bag. Did she run? No. Did she scream for help? <laughs> not at all. This woman grabs the carton of milk and smacks the man in the face with it. Then grabs her bag and starts beating him with it. Surprised she wasn't going to grab her shoe next. Luckily, the store security came to help. And one dude had trouble pulling her off of him. <laughs> it was absolutely hilarious. So... After laughing so hard, I got into the car and headed home. <laughs> I felt like I was in a Tyler Perry Medea movie for a second. <laughs> she was beating him like he was her son, and it was the 90s. <laughs> oh, love, can you help me out here with the pot for a second? Yeah, just take it to the table. Be careful, it's hot. Thank you, love. Such a big help. And <laughs> and your dinner is in the kitchen, sugar. <laughs> yeah, I know. I went a little all out. But I wanted to end the year on a good note. I thought, might as well. <laughs> Plus, I wanted to make your favorite meal to celebrate the promotion you got. Well, you know me. I just had a feeling you would get it. <laughs> you 
You've been working so hard. It's kind of hard not to take notice. And I'm not just saying that because I'm your wife and I live with you. Thanks, love. I'm glad you're happy with the dinner I picked up. It's not that? Then what is it? Oh, for supporting you. <laughs> I knew you needed it. Love, I know I can't be much help with your work sometimes. Heck, sometimes I don't even understand what you're talking about. But I try to understand as best as I can. And even if just encouraging you and being there for you is the only way I can help you, that's what I'm going to do. You need my support just as much as I need you sometimes. You have always encouraged me with my writing. You've even helped me write half of my stories sometimes. Even if it's just a small idea or what would you do in this scenario. It helps me so much. You're just as much there for me as I am for you. Or at least I hope I am. <laughs> My pleasure, love. Now, shall we eat? I'm starving after doing everything today, and I'm sure you are too. <laughs> <sighs> Goodness. Mm, excuse me. That was such a great meal. <laughs> yeah. I think I need to add a little bit more salt to a few things. Don't? <laughs> okay, if you say so. <laughs> I'm guessing you enjoyed it too, love. I'm so glad to hear. Here, help me get the dishes to the sink. Then later I can have them cleaned. Uh, right now, relaxing with you sounds great. Yeah, maybe put on a show or a movie while we cuddle till the both of us fall asleep. <laughs> Sounds good. I'll meet you there, love. Just, uh, let's finish cleaning up first. Mm -hmm. oh, look at you. You look so cute and comfy. You wouldn't mind if I join you, would you? Good, because you don't really have a say in it anyway. Scooch. <laughs> Come on, scooch over here, you adorable loving cutie. <laughs> here, let me cuddle up close to you. <laughs> Real close and tight. <laughs> Comfy and warm. Mm. Now, what show are we watching until the new year? Ooh. Ooh, we're watching some comedy. I love it. <laughs> oh, you know. <laughs> Have I ever mentioned how much I love that you know me so well? <laughs> and I really like this idea of 
it just being us for the New Year's Eve. Such a pressure off of our shoulders this year of not playing host. Yeah. Just you, me, and sugar. <laughs> mm? Who do you suppose? Who could be at the door at this hour? I don't think we were expecting anyone. You sure you told everyone we're not hosting this year? All right, all right. Uh, here, let me get up and check the door. Yes, pause it, please. Uh, love? Your parents are at the door. I don't know why they're here. I didn't invite them. What are you guys doing here? But we told everyone that we weren't hosting New Year's this year. Like who? All our friends and people we consider to be family. I mean, I guess you all can come in. Rude. Yeah, go ahead and sit down. I'm going to speak with my love. Hey, love. You okay? I'm fine, I guess. Just a little surprised that they're here. I thought you were still upset with them over what happened at our wedding. Well, I don't blame you. For the stunt that they pulled? I mean, I know they weren't invited, but can we just see why they're here? I mean, maybe hell froze over and they're here to make amends. I can hope on the bright side, can't I? Are, are you going to be able to face them? I know that day you were even more mad at them than I ever was. If you want, I can handle it. Don't worry. Out of respect for you, I will try not to go for their throats at first. <laughs> All right, let's go talk to them before they try anything. Sorry about that. Thank you for waiting patiently. So, we were wondering, what made you guys stop by? Well, we know we haven't talked to you, uh, talked to you in a few years and Yes, we've been busy with work and life. Um, excuse you, I do work. I take care of our home here and still do my writing. Yes, still, because I love what I do and I can't imagine doing anything else. At least I love doing my work and have a love that respects me and respects what I do. We support each other and are just in love with each other as we were the last time you saw us. Were you ever able to say the same thing when you were our age? Or when you were together as long as we have been now? Didn't think so. So don't look down at me just because of what I do. Something you don't understand and I bet you can never have the guts to do, let alone the patience. Just because we do things differently than you does not mean you are better than us. And just because you are my love's parents and my in-laws 
does not mean you get to show up at our home unannounced and get a free pass for being rude. We should apologize for not speaking teens for a couple of years. Are you kidding me? No. You were against us getting married in the first place, and you said at our wedding, and I quote, that you expected us to get a divorce before our first year. Who does that, especially at their own child's wedding? Me and my love were only planning to celebrate this New Year's together. Yes, here. No, it is not sad. It's nice. It's like a date night for us. And a lot less stress for me for hosting a party and handling rude guests like yourself. Yes, that's why we're not dressed up. No, we're not going to argue about this. This New Year's, and we are going to celebrate with each other. Please leave, and don't show up unannounced again. I was hoping you might have come here to make amends, but obviously that has not happened. I don't care what you think of me. I wouldn't have said yes in a heartbeat when they asked me to marry them. This is our home, and you are unwanted guest here. Now get out. <sighs> Come here, love. It's okay. They're gone now. Whoa! <laughs> you so so much <laughs> did I seem too tough on them <laughs> I would never let someone talk like that to you and me you're my love forever and always okay and if your parents still don't like it then they can be bitter and pout about it all they want They can't change how I feel about you. Alright. It's about that time. So, why don't we crack open the champagne finally and enjoy ourselves. Here we go, love. Count down. <laughs> Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four, three, two, one. <laughs> Happy New Year, my love. <laughs> Here's to a new year with you. <laughs>